Now whether you're considering a full-size caravan or one of the smaller camper trailers, it's vital that things are spot on from the ground up. Of course, we're talking about the chassis, what everything rides on. Broadly speaking, there are two kinds of chassis. Now when you look at the construction of a chassis, typically perhaps the most traditional chassis is the 100mm chassis, that is the height from top to bottom of this bar. It's an on-road chassis for either caravan or camper trailer where you're going to stick to the main roads. And if you're the more adventurous type, you like to get off-road, this is the kind of chassis you'll typically be looking for. It's the 150mm chassis, that's 150mm from top to bottom of the bar. It gives you more strength and stability across the whole length of the caravan or camper trailer. Now it's a bit of a case of out of sight, out of mind. We don't get to look at it that often because it's hidden away, but of course suspension and axle systems are critical to the operation of your camper trailer or caravan. And the setup here we're having a look at is a serious off-road setup. Heavy duty suspension and axle system, it's even got shock absorbers. This will take you into some serious off-road country. Of course, like anything mechanical, there's a variety of different setups that you can get for different applications. Let's have a look at those now. This is probably the most typical setup you'll see under the caravan or camper trailer and that's the beam axle and leaf spring suspension system designed for on-road use. Many tandem axle caravans use a load sharing spring suspension system with solid beam axles. Now tandem axle caravans offer a range of axle and suspension setups. This one's an independent coil, however airbag and full load sharing setups are also available. A critical part of the safety system of any trailer or caravan is the braking system. Some of the older vans had an override braking system, but nowadays they're electric brakes. And what you'll typically find is a square or flat plug configuration like this, seven pin plug, but you'll also see a lot of the round connectors, and they're also a seven pin connection. They connect straight into the back of the vehicle. And one other safety system that is worth mentioning is for vans rated over two tonnes, and that's the breakaway braking system. The breakaway system is a very clever safety backup. It comes into play in the unlikely event that the vehicle and the van become separated while you're actually towing it. In that case, the cable attached to the towing vehicle will pull the pin out of this device, like so. Once the pin is pulled out, the brakes automatically engage on the caravan, stopping it immediately. It is mandatory for any van rated over two tonnes. Now electric brakes on caravans have made towing so much easier and safer these days. And as with all electronic devices, there's plenty of choice. And they all work in much the same way. Put simply, they allow you to put the same amount of brake pressure on your vehicle and your caravan at the same time. Now all campers, RVs and caravans have braking and indicating lights just like your own car. It's important to keep an eye on these and make sure they're working. Now one of the most common couplings that you'll see these days, and typical if you do buy a van or a caravan, is the fixed coupling. It's a 50mm ball coupling that would fit onto your standard tow ball. But there are a variety. We're going to have a look at those now, typically for those buying an off-road rig. This is one example of a swivel coupling. It'll give you that little bit more flexibility if you are going off-road. And another example that you will see around is a slightly different configuration of the swivel coupling. Typically, if you're trying to get in and out of steep locations on really rough road where you need the flexibility between the vehicle and what you're towing. And another interesting option for a coupling, which gives you more flexibility but allows you to keep your standard tow ball on your vehicle. This is a standard 50mm coupling which will fit onto that tow ball, but it has the added flexibility for an off-road caravan, both lateral movement and forward and back as well. An interesting option. Now in most vans designed these days, they've built in a specialised jack point. On this particular van, this is it here, and it's got the same on the other side. It's highly recommended that you don't try and place a jack just anywhere under the chassis. Always find the specified point, and it'll be outlined and highlighted in the van's manual. 
and this is what you'll need to take with you whenever you're traveling with your caravan and that is a specialized heavy duty jack it will slip into that special spot there and it's got enough height on it to make sure that you can raise the van up if you do need to change your tire it's got a good solid base on it once you get it moving it's not very hard at all When you're setting up camp, it's important to not only get your van or your trailer level, but to remember to put all your stabilizers down. They've all got them, there's a number of different types. This one's particularly easy to drop down. Short pull of the handle and down it goes. And because the ground you're camping on may not be dead level, you've just got to adjust each one by hand to make sure you're on solid ground. So there you go, pretty straightforward, but important to remember. Maybe it's a job you can give the kids. There's a couple of other types, let's have a look at those. I reckon these are a great idea. Spring-loaded, drop-down jacks stabilise your van in a matter of seconds. The jockey wheel is an ingeniously simple device but plays three very important roles when you're dealing with the van. Firstly, to hitch it up to the tow ball when you're about to go away on your holiday and the same again at the other end when you want to unhitch. You can raise it up and down, the drawbar then is at exactly the right height just to slip onto the tow ball perfectly. Once you're unhitched at the other end, the swivel wheel on the bottom allows you to move the van around manually to get it in just the right spot for your campsite. And the third function, last but certainly not least, is the fine adjustment of the height of the drawbar which enables you to get the van exactly level. And most vans have a spirit level somewhere where you can take your own if you want to make sure that it's just right. Now this one comes away from the drawbar, you store it away in the boot of the caravan or inside the van itself. But there's another type which swivels around and we'll have a look at that now. This jockey wheel serves exactly the same purpose, just an alternative system of attaching it to the drawbar. It's a spring-loaded locking handle pull the spring back, it relocks in that angle and away you go. 